In this demonstration, I am going to explain about how to roll a text or how will you create an animated text. So I am going to use the applet concept for that. So I am right clicking the source package and here you can see there is an option called applet. If the option is not available in your screen, go to the option other and here you will find the applet option so let me do it once again right click source other in java under java you can see there is an option called applet click next you can give some name for the applet for example my applet and if you want you can keep it in some package and click finish you can see some you can see that some code is generated as it is shown here every applet must be a subclass of the standard class called applet and you can see that it is in the package java.applet.applet and here you can see that there is an init method this is the method which will be called automatically after the applet is loaded into the browser so here in the init method um, we are going to do some initial initial operations such as setting the foreground color setting the background color suppose you want to set the foreground color for that we have a method called a set foreground and what what is the foreground color so here the red color is the font color and next we are going to see how to set the background for that set background and we can say that for example gray so this is to set the background color So the first turn set foreground here we are passing some argument you can see that how the argument is specified here so red is a static reference variable which is available in the standard class called a color where the color is available in the package java dot awt a stands for abstract then window toolkit that is called awt and now I am going to show what will be the outcome of this one. You can see that I am click, I'm running the file. Here you can see the background color is gray. And so far there is no content. So we cannot see that foreground color. So now let me close the applet. Now we are going to continue the code. We can see that the NetBeans provides some coding assistance and hint like this to do override start method, stop and destroy methods. Now we are going to override start method. So super.start we are not going to use it. And next we are going to override the pain method. So using paint method, we can draw something in, in the applet. For that, we have the graphics component. Using the graphics component, we can call the method g.drawString. I can see that. So this is the method we are going to follow. The first argument is for our required data, what should be displayed there in the screen. The second argument that is your x coordinate and the next y argument that is your y coordinate. So the last two arguments are for x y coordinates. So here I am going to say that for example welcome. Welcome 
some x y coordinate for example 30 50 x y coordinate so now i am going to run the code and here now you can see that the background color is gray and the for foreground color is red so that is effect of setting set foreground and set background here but now we are going to animate this text animate the text in the sense every you can see that uh, we are going to see that the e will be inserted in the beginning and the w becomes the second character next m will be inserted so m will come in the m will come as the first character that is every time we will be removing the last character from the text and that remote character we should append to the beginning of the text then we can see a rolling effect in the welcome so how will you achieve that that only we are going to see that so we are going to take some string buffer content because as you know that the string is immutable but the string buffer it is mutable so I am going to use the string buffer let me declare the string buffer first of all string buffer so I am naming it as data and this data we are initializing it here data equal new string buffer so the data I am taking like this welcome and this data we are passing it as an argument into the paint and here it must be a string object so we need to convert the string buffer into string object by calling data dot to string only very slight modifications we have done now we have created a string buffer object in the start start method you can see that new string buffer and it is initialized by the data welcome and this data is passed as an argument to the draw string method and here it must be a string object now the data is a string buffer object it should be converted to the string object by calling dot to string method now you can see that the same outcome so we are getting the expected one now we want a rolling thing we want a rolling text welcome e should be extracted from here and it should be inserted in the beginning next m should be extracted from here and it should be inserted at the beginning then we can really see the rolling effect so how it can be done that i am going to use a thread because if we use the threading concept we can sleep the thread for a while if we don't use the threading concept it goes like a flash and we cannot see the animation effect so I am going to create a thread object in the start method thread t equal new thread I am going to use the anonymous inner class concept for that new runnable that's all we can see that the anonymous inner class coding is automatically generated here and in the run method we have to give some coding what the thread has to do when we apply start upon the thread object I am going to use a while loop where the condition is always true that is infinite while loop and now we are going to write the logic how will you extract the data from the end of the welcome and how will you insert in the beginning so first of all I am going to take the E letter and we are going to insert in the beginning of the welcome as we know that this is a string buffer we can do the modification in the existing content itself for that data dot 
there is a method called insert insert this method I am going to follow so in which position you want to insert like that then character sequence then we can insert a sequence of characters so let us not go for that one we will go for this format int offset character c because we are going to insert character by character so always the insertion should happen in the beginning and what must be the character this character must be the last element so how will you take the last element for that it is very easy as you know that there is a standard method called care at care at so what about the index so index we have to say that this is now 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 sixth position we have to take so data dot care at so as you know that if we call the method length by using like this data dot length what will be the answer how many characters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but we have to start the counting from 0 always in the uh, it starts from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 but data dot length gives 7 so it must be reduced by 1 only then the e will be taken now the effect is the final character is extracted and inserted in the beginning that is the effect so data dot data dot caret data dot link minus one the final character we are extracting and that is that is inserted in the beginning of the data content after extracting and inserting here here we have to remove the letter e so next step is remove the last character for that we have the data dot delete character at character at the last position the same thing we can mention as we mentioned before data dot length minus 1 so here you can see that in every iteration the last character will be removed before inserting here so now we have the thread a newborn thread is available and we need to start the thread for that we have to call the method t.start if you don't call the start method the run method of the particular thread will never be executed now we are going to see what is the outcome of this so already the applet is running it is closed now i am going to run one second we can see that okay something is happening c o m e w e l c i am going to adjust the screen size you can see that there is some change in the data but automatically it is not getting rotated for that the pain method should be automatically invoked 
even without resizing the window so how will you do that in the while loop after doing every modification here extracting the data and inserting in the beginning then removing the last character so after every pass we have to call the paint method again call the paint method so how will you call the paint method for that just call the method repaint that's all it's very easy to understand now let us see what is out so you can see that actually the test is getting rotated but we cannot see with a, if we are able to put some delay we can see the real animation effect so i'm just closing it and here after every after the modification of these two lines i am going to put the thread in sleep for a few seconds for example by calling the method thread dot sleep or let it sleep for 100 milliseconds then put this in the try catch because it throws a checked exception called interrupted exception and now we can see the effect you can see that okay now also there is no, uh, still the same almost the same 100 millisecond doesn't bring back that much so let us go for 1000 millisecond and now we can see the the effect of the animation you can see that e m c is extracted inserted now you can see the test is rolling so let me explain the code one second in the init method we are doing some initialization operation such as setting the foreground color and setting the background color and in the start method here we have a string buffer object then we are creating a thread object whose run contains the code to extract the final character and insert in the beginning and delete the last character and allow the thread to sleep after this modification then call the repaint method if you don't call the repaint method automatically the paint method will not be invoked if you resize the window only then the paint method will be invoked if you don't use the repaint so whenever you do the animation in the applet ensure that you are calling the repaint method otherwise the paint method will not be invoked automatically i'll run it once again you can see the output you can see that now with enough delay it is run thank you all for watching